Hello, my trombone players. Um, here's our next lesson. We are moving on to page 11, and there's two new things of information on this page. The first being a new note. So look at number 36, and there's the new note on the staff. We'll talk about that first. So where it is on the staff is the very first space. You know how we say our um, uh, all cars eat gas, all cows eat grass, that first space, here's the note, it's an A. All right, so now I'm gonna show you on your trombone where it is. You're not gonna see me too much, just the trombone. So B is in the first position, and this new note A only goes down the tiniest bit. B, A. Okay, very small part. So we're going to go to number 20, 36 and say the letters for the first four measures. All right, here we go. B, A, B, A, A, B, C, which you can't even see my slide all the way down. B, A, B. There's a tie. We hold it for how many beats? Three. Okay, let's play. Ready? One, two, ready, go. All right, good job. Now you're going to hear the C just the slide again. Here's the rest of it B, B. A, A, B, B, C, B, C, B. Oops, I was wrong on that. Oh no, here's the last two measures. B, A, B, C, B. Oh goodness. All right, I'm turning around so I can read the music a little bit better. Um, actually, I'll stay where I was playing and reading is interesting. Okay, here we go. I do want you to see the slide. Here is the rest of it. Here we go. All right, I'm going to move on. You can work on playing the whole thing. That basically teaches you the new note. Now, here's 37, a song. What's new about this is if you look up in the top yellow box, you have key signature. So if you've noticed all along the way here that if you have a note B, they put the little, it looks like a B, but it's called a flat next to the note. So if it's like that all the time, musicians are always coming up with shortcuts. So the shortcut for this is to put it in the key signature. Let's read what it says. Key signature changes certain notes throughout a piece of music. This key signature means play all Bs as B flats and all E's as E flats. So instead of writing it on every note there is, now they put it in the key signature, which goes your bass clef, the key signature, B flat, E flat, and your time signature. It always comes between the two. Um, bass clef, key signature, time signature. So these are the notes you know anyway. B we know is B flat. E we know is E flat. So um, now it's just going to tell you in the key signature instead of on the note itself. All right. This is now a nice cool song and we're going to do letters for the first four like we do all right and you can see my slide here we go we're going b and here's our new note a b c d yep you can see my right next to the bell d d c b c d b I'll go a little slower. Let's play that. One, two, ready, go. Okay. 
There's a whole note, four beats. Now, here's number two. D, C, D, E, there's the E that's flat, F, F, E, D, E, F, B. Ready? Let's play that. All right. So for the last two notes, you have the first position F in first position, and then just drop in the same position to your low B flat. I found it a little tricky um, going to all low notes after been working on high notes. So um, have to switch gears a little bit so your lips are looser to play those lower notes and then tighten up to play the high ones. All right, here is the whole song. I'll go nice and slow. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> You heard my F go a little funny there, switching to, but there we go. That's our lesson for this week. It went a little long because there's two new things to talk about. Have fun playing. I'll check in with you next week. See how you're doing. Bye.